what's up everybody and boy do i have a surprise for you guys i was able to move some things and work some magic what type of magic <laughs> no 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 not that type of magic this type of magic <laughs> man you gotta love photo editing <laughs> the best anyways i was able to move some things and let me share with you guys what i did you guys ready for this you guys ready for this look at me Boom! Pulled out my binders. But wait, there's more. Oh. Ta-da! Let's talk about these. All right, guys. When I said we're gonna set build again, I mean we're gonna set build again. Okay, before we get there, let me tell you guys what I did real quick. So, you all know that this was filled with all my records, right? Well, what I did was I just pretty much just bunched them all together, <laughs> all together down there also, you can see, and there's another row down there. And I just put them all together and I just practically made room for that right there. Before, I had all these categorized by the genres and the type of music. And at this point, I just, just threw them all together. Why? Because we are gonna set build again. Now, another thing I didn't tell you guys, was when I sold my comments for this reason and not having any space, all my Dodger cards, I put them in there. I didn't sell any of my Dodger cards. So what I did this time was all my vintage Dodger cards that were in these, I took them out and I put them in there. So all these sets, they all have Dodger cards. Some of them are actually completed. For example, the 1952 tops, it has the full run of the Dodgers. The 59 tops has the full run of the Dodgers because I had completed those sets. The 54 Bowman, I believe that has the full run of the Dodgers. I'm gonna have to double check that. I can't, I don't remember seeing that many Dodger cards when I was putting that together. But I was able to work some magic and pull out my binders from the storage and um, just simply just made some room. The records, I'm not worried about the records because I don't really touch those records. I touch more of those, the 45s than I do with the LPs. And right now, since we're still working at home, kind of, or my girlfriend is, me off and on, you know, I do a lot of paperwork since, you know, self-employed. I haven't been able to fold this table in over a year. So <laughs> just tells me that, you know, I don't enjoy my records as often since, you know, we started working from home. So no big deal. I just punched them all together, but I was able to do this. I was able to pull all these out. Again, if you've been following my channel for a while, nothing new you've seen these binders before if you're new to my channel well i'm a vintage set builder okay i collect all sorts of cards but my passion is set building and uh, when i mean by vintage it's pre-79 or actually pre-84 i still have those binders in my storage i still have a lot of other binders in my storage if you've been following my channel or new to my channel you all know that i have a lot more binders than what you see right here we're just gonna have fun in this channel again by set building. And these are pretty much primarily the binders that I need for, for that for now. Okay, anything other than that I can do like um, putting my rookies in the binders, can't do that right now. Putting my relics in the binders, can't do that right now. Putting my autographs in the binders, can't do that right now either. So, let me share with you guys what I have so far. So we'll pull out the 52 tops binder set. And, uh, <clears throat> This is what I have so far, you know? Again, I have all the Dodger cards in here, so that's cool. I've been slowly buying uh, the 52 set back up again. As you can see, I got some star players and Hall of Famers in there. Let me pull out the 59 to share, share with you guys real quick. See, you'll see nothing but practically Dodger cards and a few stars in there. But for the most part, it's all Dodger cards. So that's pretty much what every binder looks like at the moment. Let me set this back over here. If you guys can remember this binder, which I think is this binder. Uh, no, this is not the binder. Nope. Well, this these are the cards that I had that uh, <clears throat> we're gonna set build. The 68 tops, uh, top games, the Deckel, we got the uh, Post, we have the 61 Fleer, the 60 Fleer. I got the Golden Press already down there, so I'm gonna rip those out of the booklet and put them in here. We're going to do the Tops Giants, 64 Tops Giants. You know, just all the oddball small sets. You know, they're going to be going to this Hall of Famer 
uh, binders. If you guys can remember this from a few videos ago, how I had all these um, top loaders, cards in uh, the card savers in here. Well, I took out all these cards and I put them in there. So these are pretty much just uh, my doubles that, you know, I put in there. <laughs> so this is all I have so far. I took out a lot of them. <clears throat> or all of them, I guess you can say. Okay, moving along. And then in this binder, you guys could remember all my raw cards. Well, I don't have a lot of them anymore because I took a lot of them out. You guys remember I had a lot of, uh, what was his name? Billy Martin, I think I had a lot of them. Like almost a page full. Gaylord Perry. Well, whatever I don't have in here, I put in there. If that makes any sense. You know, <clears throat> all my doubles, Hall of Fame doubles are just going to go in here. All my smaller sets are going to go in here. Uh, these last three binders are pretty much my pocket pages. Eight pages, nine pockets, uh, the four. They're all in there in the end. But as I get doubles, boom, 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 boom. The smaller sets pretty much here. If I need more room, I'll go to this binder. And then with the Hall of Famers, you know, as they start drawing, you know, they're just going to go down the line. And then uh, my Dodger binders, we're going to go back into uh, collecting these Dodger cards again. As I, buy, as I start buying some smaller sets, you know, some of these are going to go in here. As you can tell, I got very few vintage in here now because I put them all in there. But you can see what I have so far. These are some of my doubles, my vintage doubles that I had. A few of them. Cool, look at that. Add two of these, put one here, put one in the 56. Add two of these, put one here, put one in my 56. I just recently bought that one, so that one goes here because I already had a 52 one. So these are my Dodger binders. We're gonna load this up again. Some playoffs right there, pretty cool. I only have one from 74 because the ones I had from the 60s, 60s tops are back in my 60 tops collection or set. So this is what we're doing. So we back to set building. So what I'll be doing is I'm gonna be buying starter sets, okay? Pretty much starter sets from uh, 79 to like 1959 or something, or 58, um, between 57 to like 49, 50 Bowman, or actually from actually from here, <laughs> from <laughs> from 57 to pretty much tobacco cards. Let's just say that. They're all gonna be bought one by one. Now, I know I'm not gonna complete the, the T206 and T205s. I'm gonna do something different with these. These, I'm just gonna buy them raw, and I'm gonna buy just, you know, good eye peel, because I don't have anything in there yet, you know, as I did before. <clears throat> just raw cards, um, on the cheap, auction style, maybe pay like $30, $40 per card. Nice eye peel kind of cards, like, you guys can see that. Cards that look like that, you know, nothing beat up. But all the stars and Hall of Famers from that, I usually buy those already graded. But I'm going to be getting raw cards on these only. So these are going to be pretty much common players with like cool cards that I come across from T205, 06, 07. Anything else that's pre-war, like the 1919 W514s. You know, just all the pre-war strip cards are all going to go in there. But pretty much common players only. Like I said, I collect, I buy those already graded Hall of Famers, and I only want to buy those Hall of Famers graded. And then I know I'm never going to finish the Gaudi, so I'm going to see how far I can get with that because the Babe Ruth card on that card is like $10,000. And then the play balls, I know I'm never going to own the Shoeless Joe Jackson because that's a lot of money too. But I'll just do my best, you know, right here as much as I could. No big deal. But I know I can complete this set because I got the Mano and the Maze. And I know I can complete every other set pretty much. So we're bringing back set buildings. Guys, cool. One card at a time. Old school. And I kind of like the way these records look now. How they're all like just bunching together instead of like gaps. That's cool. But all I know is it's going to be very hard for me to pull out these records. Because, uh, you know, I got this little table in the way. But we're here to talk about baseball, not records. So cool. Pretty excited. Sui from the far. It'll look better once I remove that table, by the way. But who knows when that would happen. Well, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. See you guys all later. Toodles.